Well, Bowie's taken a little calculated risk here and he's left a slight angle on this thread across the table. I think Ronnie might take this on. Well, he knew that was a possible, leaving the white near the top cushion, but that's still a great pot on the red. Can't tell you how good that is across the table. You have to be so accurate. Particularly at the pace he played it to get the cue ball off the cushion for the black. He just missed the cannon there for the red Eight. to the left, but has this one to the right. It's amazing there, you go back to the club after a tournament and people ask you the questions, Phil, those pockets look big this week. You play on these tables, I'll tell you, they are not big. A normal club player, keep it set, a normal club player, unless he's a top amateur, would struggle on these Nine. tables, not just with the cut of the pocket, but the pace as well. Even the top amateurs struggle with them. But Ronnie's not struggling here. Back in prime position, 17. back in good form. He's concentrating well again and looking to take out this match. Has he gone too far? Might have done. Well, there's another example of the pace of the table. Just the nearest touch of the cue ball and yeah. just flies away so responsive. I think this one passes the blue though to the corner. Point five. Yeah, the players love these tables when they're playing like this though. They can just stroke the balls around the table. They don't want to want what we call and want the tables to be lumpy, you know, and Sorry, then to, to hit the balls a bit harder. They can just uh, and they split these sort of shots, they split as well quite easy. Search three. Anyone for a one four seven? Ah, oh, hello. Ten thousand pounds this week, bonus. If one is made. This guy's had thirteen already in his career. Amazing. I think he's just asked the referee what the high break prize is or the maximum prize is he did that once before he potted a red against Mark King yeah. and went on to make one yeah well it was Glasgow and actually he refused to pot the last black didn't he and it was only up to Jan Verhaas to say come on Ronnie we need this last black in and she uh... he did in the end Takes some bravado, that doesn't it? Well, to ask the referee before you've potted a ball whether there's a high prize for a maximum <laughs> and then make one. Yeah, I mean, that is arrogance. <laughs> I think it's called confidence in your own abilities. Touching ball 48. We talk about that word, don't we? But there's a, there's a fine line, Phil, between 49. confidence and arrogance, isn't there? Well, well, I know he definitely you crossed it that day. <laughs> yeah, he did. I think it was only £4,000 that day. He said, oh, I can't be bothered with the black. In fact, in the end, he did pot it. Oh, one or two people were not happy the way things went. But in the end, he actually gave the money to charity. 56. Which was very good of him. 57. Well, he might as well be down the club practising here, O'Sullivan. But you wouldn't bet against him doing it. No, nope. not now. <laughs> <It's four. laughs> He's just asked our referee to hurry up a little bit. <laughs> 65. I'm in the groove. Get this black onto the spot a bit quicker. It's amazing how quickly things change, isn't it? It only seems like a few minutes ago that pinches 
had that opportunity for a 2-1 lead at that stage. O'Sullivan was steaming mad with the way things were going. Now, he's a picture of serenity. <laughs> Playing to the crowd. Almost over the winning line in the match. But he's thinking about the maximum for sure. It certainly is. Yep. I think he's still asking, and he's asking our, our recorder as well. How much is it? Well, even for a millionaire, ten thousand pounds is worth having. Yeah, a little bit more for Sachi. It's on. It's definitely on. Eighty-eight. Could this be number fourteen? I'll tell you what, Phil, it's always nice to get Eight one in nine. the can early as well, isn't it? Well, enjoy this guy while you can because you don't see his light very often. A once in a generation player, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah. In fact, he may be an even rarer breed than that. There's the century. Just genius, really. Could have done with a little bit more there. No, he's not taking the pink, surely. Well, there's the other side of Ronnie O'Sullivan, the perverse side. 111. Going for a 146 instead. I don't think he's ever had a 146, has he? Well, he'll still be in the tournament. There's plenty of time to make one, I suppose. 121. But he's going through into the second round. In style. 128. Well, it won't be a maximum. But it's still a break of the most sublime quality and you get the feeling that if he'd wanted to make the maximum he could have done he chose not to controversial in some people's eyes but that was just absolutely magnificent Ronnie O'Sullivan finishes with a flourish a 146 clearance which might well have been a 147 had he chosen the black instead he chose the black.